Hi, and welcome to another interview with our LCU 18 speakers. We are so very incredibly happy to have with us Dr. Anne Childers today from Oregon. All the way. That's right. The great <laughs> Pacific Northwest in the U.S. Yes. How are you? Oh, great. It's so good to see you, Hannah. It's so it's good to great. see you, too. It's always a pleasure. Are yes. you ready for our very difficult questions? <laughs> I am so ready. Fire I'm happy. Away. Let's go. Uh -huh. Anne, who are you? Uh, basically, I'm a child, well, other than a human being and, you know, a wife and all of that. I'm a child, adolescent, and adult psychiatrist. Uh, I'm a fellow of the American Psychiatric Association, and uh, I have a practice here in Westland, Oregon, which is right next door to Portland, uh, where I see uh, anyone from age 12 to 65, sometimes older. And my practice is based on a foundation of nutrition and sleep. Wow, that is really impressive. Yeah, I do prescribe medications. I never, you know, uh, fudge about that. But what I find is that if I do it right, uh, my patients may have one or two medications instead of a handful. Yeah, and I guess um, it's very undervalued what, what good sleep and good nutrition can do. It is sadly undervalued, especially here, especially here in the U.S., where we've gotten so far away from our traditions and where our traditions are so, uh, which I say, so varied, yeah, yeah. from family to family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. So what three words best describe you? Okay. I would say um, eclectic. I tend to gather information from just about everywhere I can find it. Um, I would say, uh, empathic with my patients. Uh, fortunately, that's a trait that I have that I feel very fortunate to have because it really helps me to get to the root of the problem. And let's put it this way. I do my very best. I do my very best with the information that I have at hand. Those are very awesome qualities. We can't wait to see them all in action in America. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In one hmm. sentence, what led you to the low carb way of life? I got sick. I got sick. I got sick. And when you're a doctor and you're sick and you can't figure out how you got sick, um, and it turned out for me it was basically nutritional, uh, you have to find the path or else you can't help anyone else. Yes? Yeah. That's so very that's what happened. I thought I was going to be disabled about 12 yeah. years ago. I was planning for it. I had a shower chair. I was weak, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't so wait that's to how I, that's hear how more it started, about it. huh? Yeah. I'm I can't sorry? wait to hear more about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is a, an incredible story. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. And fortunately, I think it has a happy ending. So far, so good. Yeah. Every day is a blessing, right? It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What topic within the low carb world is most exciting to you right now? Right now, uh, metabolism and mental health. Yeah. I am so excited that people are starting to crack the code. And uh, this could make a huge difference in the world. A huge difference. Uh, if we are able to disseminate this information to others, um, they will be able to help themselves in, in significant ways. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for more people yeah. to realize uh, what, what a powerful tool it is. It is. Um, it's yeah. very powerful. And now it's starting to get legs now that it's starting to be published. So yes, and more international. <laughs> and more international. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What is the one thing you wish everyone knew about a low carb way of life? How much better they would feel. They have to get over the hump of uh, stopping the carbohydrates. There probably will be cravings. I know there were in my case. Um, but once they turn the corner, 
it's really a different awareness, a different way to be, more energy, more mental clarity. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. And we have to do it. We really do have to do it. Um, so getting the word out, helping people help themselves, uh, it's going to be exciting. Yeah. No, I can only agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. What would you consider a true joy in your life? Oh, gosh, so many joys. I would say in my professional life, uh, ever since I started using uh, diet and sleep, I, my job satisfaction has been through the roof. So I actually look forward to coming to work every day. And um, I don't know how many people can truly say that. So I feel very extremely fortunate. Yeah, yeah that, is a, that is a beautiful joy to have. Yeah, it is. And really what expectations do you have for LCU 18? Uh, I have to say that while I look forward to connecting with people there and being able to share information, I, ex I can't wait to um, connect with people like you and other speakers and just kind of absorb all the new things that will be presented there. I, I really can't wait. Yeah, neither can we. And we can't wait to welcome you to Mallorca. Thank you. I've never been there and I am so excited to be there. Thank you oh, so much. I can't wait to, to show you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your tam, time, Anne. And if you would like to join Anne and all the other amazing superstars of the low carb world in Mallorca, Spain in November for LCU 18, please do check our website and book your ticket today. Thank you so much, Anne. It's my pleasure.